Now with your local sports, KIDY Fox News First Sports with Manny Diaz. Well, regardless of what anybody says, we all have a story to tell. Who we are and where we came from is something everyone wants to know. Bandits wide receiver Johnny Thomas is one you should know. Bandits wide receiver Johnny Thomas has proven to be more than just a few good moves. In fact, in six games this season, 29 catches, 431 yards receiving, and 15 touchdowns. He's tremendously athletic. I mean, a big, tall receiver that can fly, and that gives us another great weapon on the other side of cash, and, and uh, those guys can be very dangerous for us. It's like a dream come true, man. Like, I probably couldn't even write a book this good. But believe it or not, football hasn't always been the leading role in Johnny's life until it took a drastic turn that changed everything. Take a look around you because very light's very likely that what you see will be unrecognizable by time Tuesday morning rolls around. The National Weather Service says people exposed to the storm will die. They have clearly lost everything. The day I left was the day I was supposed to go to the Jamboree game uh, for St. Augustine High School. When they canceled it and my mom was like, well, we got to get out of here, I'm thinking, Vacation. You turn on the news a couple days later and it was just like a like you, you died. Everything you had was gone. Pictures, awards, medals, all kinds of things. Cars, we lost everything. It was nothing to even salvage. Like I don't have any Bay Beach pictures or anything. It's just what you see is what you got. That's it. At 16 and having seen one of the worst and deadliest natural disasters known to man, Johnny turned to football. I hated transferring schools because I felt like I was a, a refugee, like they was calling us because I was just lost. All I had was my family. Didn't know nobody, I didn't talk to nobody, but they, they accepted me and, and I appreciated it, you know, because they didn't have to. They gave me a chance to play football. I played basketball, I was in the band. But when it came to football, there was still one person to convince. My mother wouldn't let me play, period. She wouldn't sign the, the permission slip at all. I went home to my grandmother and cried. And she signed a permission slip and let me play and my mom sat in every game, no matter where it was at. One, two, three, four. So with football in the picture, it allowed Johnny to escape the horror of Katrina. Playing football, that, that was kind of my way of letting out my anger. Something about Friday nights in Kentwood, Louisiana, man, it, it changed my life. The aftermath of Katrina was almost 2,000 deaths and over $100 billion in damage. The negatives were obvious, but for Johnny, it was a blessing in disguise. There's a lot of people say, oh man, it ruined my life, this and that, but a lot of people don't think about the positive that came. Like, whatever you done before Katrina was washed away. So now you got to, it's like a new beginning. Like in the, be in, in the Bible, it's, it's a new beginning. Back at Genesis, that's where we at. One thing's for sure, you don't have to be in a helmet and pads for an audible to be called. Johnny, along with the many lives that were uprooted due to Katrina, knew all too well about that. So if we can take anything from number 13, it's adjusting at the line and making life your end zone.